Hey guys, what's going on? Time for another video and it is new product time. My favorite time of year. It is the first quarter for Shimano dropping their new releases. And uh, we're gonna go with this one off the bat. This is the new Calcutta Conquest, available in two new models, the 300 and 400. But before I get into this, do me a favor, click subscribe down below. Uh, if you have any experiences or comments about the Calcutta Conquest, leave them down below for me. We love getting back to you guys and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you have questions about a setup or what technique or what fishery it might be right for, drop it down below. All right, so Calcutta Conquest. Uh, two new models, a 300 and a 400. It's the XGLHB, so it's the long handle version available in both left and right handed. So all you lefties out there, don't be upset. There is a 301 and a 401 in this newly introduced model. So it's really designed for big bait and salt applications. So let's rock through the specs on this new Calcutta Conquest because there is a ton of technology in this. Okay, first things first, micro module gear. So the micro module gear in the Calcutta Conquest is really that ultra refined high tooth count gear that gives you super, super, super smooth winding, lots of power transmission and less gear wear than you would traditionally get with a standard gear. The other thing is it's got the Hagane body, so that all metal body that Shimano is so famous for. The other thing, which is an upgrade as well, which happened, I believe, on the 200 as well, is Infinity Drive. Now, Infinity Drive is a new drive system that increases winding power under load. So you're going to get more torque, more power out of this reel. It also has Silent Tune, which quiets down the spool and reduces vibration. And there's a new thing called SVS MD. Now, SVS, everybody's known about Shimano. It is their standard uh, braking system, SVS Infinity. Before, we used to call our centrifugal braking force VBS. Well, VBS no longer exists, so there's a bit of a transition going on in the nomenclature of technology for Shimano. So, SVS is what we now call VBS. SVS Infinity is when you have an adjustable dial, but SVS MD is something incredibly different. So, SVS MD has your standard uh, centrifugal pins that you would see that slide in and out on a pin, except the difference with this one is they're numbered and there's eight. Traditional ones have either four or six. The Calcutta Conquest has eight pins, but they are sequentially numbered so that you can keep your braking even. One thing I've had a lot of people talk to me about is when they adjust their brakes on their VBS system, you know, do they have to be opposite spread? And I would say yes, for optimal performance, you want to opposite spread rather than stacking, you know, three brakes on on one side of the spool all next to each other and then having another side of the spool. It'd be kind of like having a tire that's out of balance. So the SVS MD has numbers one through eight. So when you click number one, you spin the spool until you find number two, which is exactly on the opposite side of number one. You click that, now your brakes are even and you have two brakes on three, four, et cetera, et cetera, and they keep going across from each other, ensuring that you're getting the most performance. The other thing you get is a magnetic adjustment on the opposite side that attaches to the spool. So you'll see a dial from min to max, so that complements the SVS MD. So that is the total package. You've got variable braking on one side with eight pin adjustment, very, very highly tunable, and then you've got fine tuning from the outside once you're set with your magnet. The other thing it has is an S3D spool. And then when we talk bearings, 11 plus one SARB bearings. So shielded anti-rust bearings are in this new Calcutta Conquest. Uh, the drag, cross carbon drag washers, kicking out 18 pounds of stopping power. And then one of my favorite things, which I first saw, I believe it was in the Carado BFS, but I also saw it, no, actually it'd probably be Alderbear and I saw it in first, exciting drag sound. For those of you who don't know what exciting drag sound is, it's basically a drag clicker, much like a spinning reel in a bait caster. So when your line is being pulled, you can hear, you can audibly hear that line is being pulled and it allows you to not only enjoy the hard run of a good fighting fish, but also be aware of if the fish is pulling or if it's not pulling. Uh, the last thing, or second last thing I should say, uh, S-Compact Body. So S-Compact Body was developed years and years ago with Shimano, and it was basically the pulming side plate of the reel 
becoming smaller so that it's more palmable in your hand. And that's important because a big beer can style reel or a conventional style reel without it is very difficult to hold. So this one has actually got a smaller profile than the previous generation of Calcutta Conquest, which had S compact body, but not as small as what they've done with this new gen. The last thing for all you saltwater or people who fish in harsh environments, X-Protect. So X-Protect is a labyrinth system that stops water from penetrating key areas, but it doesn't add any heavy rotational feel or turn to the reel. It's a very, very good system at keeping that reel working perfectly. Now, both the 300 and the 400 have 40 inches of line per crank, and that's a 7.5 to 1 gear ratio. So every turn of the handle, 40 inches. Handle right around 40 inches. That's going to allow you to move baits like big glide baits that you got to have that good crank to get it to, you know, dart off, or you're working saltwater high speed predators. This reel is going to be perfectly suited for that. Uh, the weight of the reel, the 300 is 12.7 ounces. The 400 comes in at 12.9, and that's basically just the size, extra size of the reel. But the 300 holds 150 yards of 17 pound mono or 135 yards of 65 pound power pro. It, the 400 holds 160 yards of 20 pound mono, which is probably one of the number one lines people are using 20 or 25 pound for big glides or big baits or 140 yards of 80 pound power pro. So you musky guys, you saltwater guys, you're gonna have all the strength you need, plenty of line capacity to handle any of that. The Calcutta Conquest guys is really a, a super refined uh, conventional style reel with a line guide. The other thing it has, which is super important, is the line guide is tied to the spool so that when you're casting, it's gonna make your casting more efficient because the line guide is gonna follow the spool, and it's also gonna, when you're fighting a fish and drag is being pulled, it's gonna follow that drag coming off the spool. So having a synchronized level wind on this reel is very important as well. So those are the features of the Calcutta Conquest. It's MSRP, a little bit of sticker shock here, guys, $599.99, but it is a lot of technology in this one reel. If you are a person who fishes, you know, muskies, or you're a glide bait, big bait bass guy, or, you know, you're fishing near shore, inshore, saltwater stuff for hard pulling fish, this reel is gonna be up for the challenge. So there you have it. I mean, I just spent three days in the studio shooting this thing. It is gorgeous. It feels great in the hand. It is a beautiful reel. If you guys can do me a favor, if you haven't already, click subscribe down below. We got some new products coming out this week from Shimano, and then there will be another release probably coming, I would have guessed, near the Bassmaster Classic. We typically see new product. And then obviously iCast, and I try to cover everything I can, regardless of the fishery or the species that the product is made for. So, well, there you have it, guys. If you have any questions about the Calcutta Conquest, leave a comment down below. But if not, I hope you all are keeping well. I hope you're staying safe. But most of all, hope you guys are catching fish. Talk to you soon.